for the two teammates here, with the Suicide Squad out now, I'm going to be doing my reviews for James Gunn movies. And James Gunn does some really good films. So, my, so the first film I'm going to do a review for is his very first feature, and that will be his 2006 film, Slur. Now, Slur, I would say, is a really awesome film. I mean, this is a bit of a body horror-based film. You know, it takes place in this, like, small town of Willie, where not really much has happened, and everyone, you know, minds their own business and all that. Uh, and so, no one really, like, knows when evil ends up slipping, uh, but when, like, people want to find, um, find these, uh, militate, uh, you know, livestock, and, um, a woman ends up going missing here. Uh, you've got Nathan Fillon, of course, from the rookie, uh, fame, who plays Sheriff, uh, Bill Barty discovers this alien um, orgasm that, you know, is dragged to devour um, all life on Earth. So this is pretty much like an alien invasion-based film. Uh, and, you know, he, uh, here this, um, the uh, Mel uh, Melviolent um, extra, uh, terrestrial parasite ends up landing on this, uh, me on this uh, meteorite and it goes um, to the town of Weasley, uh, you know, South Carolina. And it also it affects a uh, wealthy resident Grant Grant, who is taking, um, who is also taking over uh, his body and absorbing his mind here. And the alien also is is pretty much uh, controlling his body. So Grant ends up beginning to transform into this, uh, you know, um, tentacle um, Masaurus, and he also ducks like this uh, local woman named Branda. Uh, to and and so yeah, so of course you know during um the search, uh, Grant is also supposed of course, um, led by this, uh, by the police chief, uh, you know, Bill Barney to discover that Brandon, whose body has also become, uh, inhumanly, is, uh, blown. I mean, you even literally got the slug-like, uh, lava who bursts from her body here. Uh, I mean, this movie pretty much is similar to iconic, you know, body horror films, uh, such as, um, you know, The Thing, such as, uh, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. You definitely could tell that those type of movies were influenced by this film. Uh, you of course had Michael Rooker, of course, you know, uh, best known for playing Yondo in, uh, God's Galaxy fame. Uh, Michael Rooker was terrific, who, of course, he's also in, um, the Suicide Squad, so there's that too. Uh, you also had, um, Elizabeth Banks was also in this. Uh, you even had, uh, Pam from The Office herself, uh, Jenna Fisher's in this shoot. I could be mistaken, but I believe Jenna Fisher's, like, uh, you know, actually related to James Gunn or something like that, so pretty cool right there. I think, like, maybe, um, her, you know, her sister-in-law, like, James got sister-in-law, I think, or something like that. Uh, of course, you also had Greg Henry was also in this. I mean, this movie is so, um, bloody. Uh, you know, it's definitely, you know, also reminds me of David Cronenberg's other films like, uh, The Brood, The Fly. And this was actually, it is crazy to believe that this was actually James Gunn's first film. And he nailed it every inch. Definitely a really decent, um... You know, decent horror. Com it's more of a horror comedy, really, in the same way of uh, Shaun of the Dead here. Uh, and the characters are really intriguing. Um, the effects are decent. I mean, the um, you know, directions really good. So if you guys have never really seen Slayer, I'm not sure where you can find nowadays. But give Slayer a go. It's a really good one. I mean, Greg Henry, by the way, playing the mayor in this. Cool casting right there. But uh, anyway, yeah, definitely really cool. A uh, creepy film. I mean, yeah, it's a shame we never really got to see a sequel, but sad to say the film did not do so well when it got released. It became a cult. It actually became a cult classic uh, once the film got released. But anyway, um, let, let me leave you guys. Have you e even had a chance to check out James Gunn's movie Slur? If so, watch that. Were you a fan of it? Were you not a fan of it? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Simu Sayo.